we have a team stood up at the State Department, uh, the Repatriation Task Force, that is working each of these instances. Students with ties to North Alabama are among the hundreds of Americans the U.S. State Department is trying to get home. That's despite restrictions related to the worldwide coronavirus outbreak. Students from the University of South Alabama and other Southern universities are stranded in Peru. They are pleading with representatives for help. Way 31's Will Robinson Smith spoke with some students caught up in the travel ban as the coronavirus continues to spread. Will. Well, just to illustrate how quickly this is spreading in Peru, I just checked the numbers, and as of today, there are 263 cases of coronavirus in Peru. Five days ago, there were only 71 confirmed cases. Now, some of the students from the University of South Alabama have some family here in Madison County who are eagerly waiting and hoping for the day that their students are able to come home. Some of them have been able to make it back to Alabama, but for the rest of them, they're just hoping that their homecoming is soon. So it was probably the most stressful and emotional filled like 30 hours we've ever, I guess, done. Maddie Jones and paramedic classmate Sydney Valentine are back in their apartment in Mobile under quarantine. They and about 18 other students from four southern universities spent a week in Peru as part of the first study abroad program for paramedic students. But the trip took an unexpected turn when the Peruvian government announced on Sunday that it would close its borders the next day. It was probably the, and we make a lot of hard decisions in our field, it was probably the hardest, one of the hardest decisions we've ever had to make. The decision was to make their flight knowing they would have to leave others behind. Valentine and Jones, along with one other classmate, scrambled through the airport to make it out of the country. If we wouldn't have made that 1159 flight, if our wheels had not been up, they were going to unload the entire plane, send us all back into the airport in Lima, and we were going to have to find a hotel, we were going to have to find some place to stay. That was the reality for fellow South student Will Rayner. He said an issue printing his ticket stopped him from getting on a flight to Miami in time. Now he's stuck in a hotel with other Americans. I may be separated from my group, separated from family and friends, but you know, there's this large sense of community here and people are taking care of others. And so that, that is what I'm relying on at this point in time. Meanwhile, back in Cusco, paramedic instructor Joel Elzey is doing everything he can to get the rest of them home while trying to keep the remaining students with him hopeful. You know, having gone through multiple disasters in my career uh, as a paramedic, uh, Hurricane Katrina uh, being the big one, that is uh, a big thing that you have to do is you know, keep everyone calm, let's think rationally, let's make good decisions, and, and be able to get out. Now this evening, the U.S. Southern Command posted these photos on your screen to Twitter stating that they used an Air Force C-130 plane to bring back members of the U.S. women's soccer team who were stuck in Honduras. President Trump mentioned on Wednesday that the military would help bring some Americans home. Now both students from South as well as some of those other Southern universities have started using the hashtag stuck in Peru to bring attention to their own situation. They're hoping that attention and it has been noticed by the president and he made some comments to that effect effect on Wednesday. They're hoping that all this attention will help them get out of the country that has closed its borders. Reporting live in Huntsville, Will Robinson Smith, Way 31 News. Thank you, Will.